All right, welcome back, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Learn React in 2020 series. This is the second half of coding the Chord Reactive background. In the first half, we discussed the logic behind separating the temperatures into hot temperatures and cold temperatures, and how we are going to deal with each of them separately, and how we are going to express the difference in these temperatures uh, using the linear gradients. So I'll run through this quite quickly. So we said we are going to do hot weather from 12 to 40 degrees. Cold weather is going to be from negative 20 to 12 degrees. And then we decided that both the hot weather and the cold is going to be hues of red. And the cold weather is going to be hues of blue. And then we said that we're going to make things simpler by eliminating one factor of the RGB and stick keeping one factor constant. So in the hot color logic that we discussed last time, we said we are going to keep the red uh, component always at the maximum, which is 255, and eliminate the blue component completely, and then play with the G component, the green variable, uh, to change how red or less red the color is. And then we discussed that uh, this is the way it works. If t is 15, then that is t, uh, which is 15 minus 12 over 40 minus 12. That would be this small strip over this becomes the ratio. And then if t is 40, then your ratio becomes 1. And you have this tendency to multiply the ratio with the maximum value, which is 255. And if you do that, you will get... Uh, an equivalent of 255 when t equal 40 and then we also discussed that this does not represent the relationship we want to make simply because mathematically speaking the relationship between the temperature and the variable in this case is inversely proportional that means that when the temperature is the lowest the variable is the maximum and when the temperature is the maximum the variable is the lowest and then we moved on and we said then the proper way to think about this is that this has to be 1 minus the ratio and then you multiply that by 255 and this will give you the correct relationship. Beautiful. So when we were talking about the hot color logic, we are saying that we are going to fix red to be the maximum red it can be, 255, and we're going to eliminate blue. That's because our decision was to get all the hot weather to be reddish. And uh, they changed the variable to change how red the color is. Now, we are going to take the exactly similar approach to... Uh, that as well when we talk about the cold color logic and in that case what we're going to do is because this is going to be purely blue we are going to eliminate uh, uh, red totally so red will go be constant of zero and blue is going to be the maximum blue it can get which is 255 but then we are going to make this more saturated blue or let's just put it this way let's just make it more blue or less blue based on the green number that we put here and to demonstrate this i have this guy picked up here so this is the color picker from google and if i change this red to zero and i give it the maximum value here and i give this a zero then this is the darkest blue that, can, that you can get and if i maximize this to 255 sorry the 255 i get kind of the the lowest blue that you can get this let's just put it in these terms now what i want to do now is i want this to correlate with really really cold weather so let me oops sorry let me go back to the slides so what i want is i will say that the temperature is going to vary from negative 20 to 12 right let me take this out put it on the side get this here okay good all right so now my temperature is going to vary from negative 20 to 12 and i'm going to have the variable to be 255 to 0. that means that when the temperature is negative 20 i want this color to be there because that color is really really light blue which in my opinion is communicating really really cold weather while this blue is communicating a cold weather but not as cold if that makes sense and we're going to take the same approach again what we're going to do is we're going to say one minus the ratio and the ratio in this case is going to be t minus minus 20 and then that is going to be divided by 12 uh, minus minus 20 because 12 is the maximum so what we get here is t plus 20 on the top and over there will be 12 plus 20 which is going to be 32 
So for example, if your t is equal to 12, then this ratio is going to be 1 minus 1 and is going to be 0. And if you multiply that by 255, you will get 0. So if the temperature is 12, if the temperature is 12, this will correspond to a variable of 0, which is this which means that the temper that the weather is cold but is not as cold but if this on the other hand on the other extreme if the temperature is negative 20 your ratio is going to be zero because this is going to be one minus zero so sorry the ratio is going to be equal to one and in this case we will get uh, a value of the variable to be 255 so if i put 255 here this becomes really really kind of like bright blue and you can imagine that within that range a lot of temperatures are going to be between these two maximums all right now now that we got this straight i think this is quite straightforward if you uh, have any problems just go back to the last episode of the series where i go in much much more details on how we got to that math right there now with that in mind i am going to keep this guy open i will definitely have to go back to vs code now in vs code now we have to separate our logic into two uh, separate kind of the statements some statements will get executed when uh, temperature is more than 12 which is going to be the the cool the hot weather logic which is what we have here already all right and then the other statements are going to be executed during the cold weather logic which is going to be executed if the temperature is less than 12. that's it that to, to be able to do that it's very very simple i am going to cut this and then i'm going to give uh, an if statement so i will say if props dot temp if props dot temp if props dot temp equals if props dot temp sorry if props dot temp is more than 12 if it's more than 12 then execute the following commands execute this beautiful and else if and now if props dot temp now is more than or equal just because sorry less than or equal just because i want to include the 12 so i don't want to have gap in my range execute the following commands and then here we are going to put the different process that we want to have when during the cold weather and for that i am going to just uh, reference these equations here so you can see here that we can get almost the, the same numbers because we can say here again let high color uh, equals this is gonna be one minus props dot temp yep and then this one is gonna be temperature minus minus 20 so that will be plus 20 oopsie plus 20 directly and then you multiply you divide this over 12 minus minus 20 which is 12 plus 20 32 and then whatever comes out out of all of this is going to be multiplied by 255 and that's it so this is your high color and then we're gonna do let low color also equals uh high color just now high color minus 150 so we're gonna stick to the same kind of like pattern as well now logically speaking this should work so if i save now and go back to my react tab you can see that i'm getting an error now this error is very very specific to the way react works what's going what's happening here is that we are, when we're trying to render this when react is trying to compile this react is looking at this specific code and it sees two parameters that are not defined and it's telling you that here right there so high color is not defined and low color is not defined but then you can think well why are they, why are they not defined because they are defined here what happens is react is trying to compile your code first and then tries to render it with the props so when it's trying to compile your code it's not able to do that because these two variables are not really defined there is a very very simple fix for this which is going to be we are going to declare sorry declare high color to equal zero and also declare low color low color oopsie sorry low color to also equal zero and this is very simple and then i need to remove these two lets from here this one this one and this one and i save now and now it's rendering properly so i zoom out again now this is rendering properly if i go back to my app i need something here that's less than 12 so let's just put 10 oopsie <laughs> apologies let's put 10 degrees here uh-huh 
and save this and you can see that this is actually not working now this is actually quite interesting so why is this not working you remember when we talked here that in the cold color logic we have blue to be 255 and the red is zero but what we are applying here is the same pattern from our hot weather and that's why you see it changed but changed in a hot weather fashion so what I want to do now is I want to change this string that's being applied to the background uh, property here. When it comes to hot weather, I need to have this as 255 high color 0 to 255 low color 0. But for cold weather, I need it to be 0 high color 255 0 low color 255. Now this is very simple to do. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to define first, I'm going to define let a variable called BG and this variable is just gonna be null. It doesn't really matter what happens inside that variable. We are not really interested. And then we can say let, oh, sorry, we can say now that BG is going to be equal to, and I'm not sure if you guys have seen this before or not, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this and I'm going to paste this inside to um, backticks, backticks. So when I do that, this backticks is basically um, coming up with a string. It's making a string that has variables inside of it. So these are backticks. If you don't know where the backticks are, they are next to your number one on the keyboard, right down, right below the escape key. So you press it once and it give you uh, two backticks and then you paste what we just did. So this is, um, this is a string that's being compiled and composed on the fly using these two variables that we just made. And I'm going to copy this BG as well and put it here. So when we have high temperature, let me add some. This is for uh, hot weather. This is for hot weather, correct. And let me add this here as well. Uh, this is for cold weather go for max screen so we can see here that this is being executed when I, I'm in hot weather and this is being executed when I am in cold weather and when in cold weather like we said zero for red zero for red another zero here for red and these two are going to be 255 here and 255 here and last but not least here for BG for background I'm just gonna put it uh, sorry a variable uh, JavaScript see a JavaScript variable here called BG. So I'm taking that string that we just declared here and I'm gonna apply it here inside the div of uh, the style of my div. Once I save this, Prettyfy just makes things a little bit better and you can see here that things are looking very different now. So now if I change this to negative, uh, say negative five and save, okay. So now once I put this here as negative five, you can see that the outcome is really not what we we're looking for. And the simple reason for that is that we have been passing strings to the temperature all along. And that is really not a good idea. So what you wanna do here is change all of these to actual numbers, which is what we're gonna get from the API anyway. We are going to be getting numbers from the API. So instead of passing strings here, let's just pass, uh, pass proper numbers. And once I save this and refresh it, now everything here is rendering properly. And now I can also change this to negative 20. That's my minimum. And you can see here that's beautiful, beautiful gradient from really, really cold to slightly warmer blue. And if I change this to again to negative 15, you can get a similar effect as well. And this is how uh, the app is going to react to different temperatures that we would get from, um, from uh, the API. And uh, yeah. This is basically it. So if I do put this as zero, you can see this is looking like that. If I, I actually can play with this all day long. <laughs> it's really, really cool. I love it. Um, yep, that's it. This is it for this uh, lecture. This is it for this part of the series. In the next part of the series, we will start uh, dealing with the, um, the image that happens here. And we will think about how we can change this image based on a string value that will come from the API. So if the API says 
uh, the weather is cloudy, I want to show a specific image. But if the API says the weather is rainy, I want to show a different image. I'll keep that to the next video. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike this video if you dislike it. If you guys have any requests or you guys have any feedback on the way I teach, please let me know down on the comments below. Thank you very much for all the people who were subscribing to my channel recently. I promise that I'll finish this series and I'll get to much, much more awesome stuff afterwards. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.